In this video, we're going to talk about how to deal with criticism. Now, anytime you do anything worthwhile in your life, it's heavy lifting. And to me, this is a good metaphor because the more you try to do that's worthwhile, the more criticism will come to meet you. And it's very important that you learn how to respond to it. So let's get into the details. Hello there friends, my name is Alex Line, and this channel Communication Coach is here to help people probably like you, rising leaders. So if you wanna work on your leadership and bring out the best in all the people around you, then this channel is for you. I believe that good leadership and communication change lives. So today we're talking about how to deal with criticism. And if you're going to try to do anything, take any risk in your life, you will be criticized. Even the best of us get criticism. Gandhi was criticized, Mother Teresa was criticized, Jesus was criticized. So certainly you and I are not gonna be able to avoid this. So the question is how do we respond when we hear criticism? Now the first thing I wanna say about this is that I believe that criticism is one of the most valuable ways to improve whatever we're trying to do. So I do value criticism, but I believe we need to go through some internal checks as well as some external responses to make sure we're handling this the right way. So let's talk about three internal checks that you can do as you're listening to someone give you criticism. The first thing you want to do is check your mindset. In other words, as you're listening to this, are you thinking about, okay, this criticism is going to help me become the best version of myself that I can be. It's gonna help me grow, it's going to help me learn. If so, then that is a very valuable mindset to walk into a situation like this. If, however, you're thinking that you want to essentially make the critic happy, you'd rather have them approve of you and you want to be like a people pleaser, then criticism is not gonna do it for you. If you're trying to please the critic, then that is a loser's game. You're never going to make 100% of the people happy. If your mindset though is I can use this criticism, basically any criticism, to help become the best version of myself that I can be, then you're headed in the right direction. The next internal check you want to do is the source. As you're listening, think, okay, do I know this person? Do I trust this person? Do I understand this person's motivations? And if the answer is yes to those questions, then you're probably listening to someone who is valuable to listen to. Now, of course, a stranger, a total stranger, can still give you valuable feedback, but at the same time, you want to understand where they're coming from. So usually I listen to feedback from people I know and care about me and that I trust, and I understand where they're coming from, I understand their motivations. The third internal check I do is that I want to hear, as I'm listening, the nature of the criticism. Is this criticism ultimately meant to build me up and to help me grow? Or is the person really trying to just tear me down and just leave me there? Obviously, if they're just trying to tear you down and leave you there, then I don't think you need to listen much. You just thank them and move on. If, however, it's meant to help you and help you grow and build you up ultimately, even might, it might be hard at first to listen, then I really dig in and I listen to it. And this topic about the nature of it, I don't think that it's the tone that really makes the difference. I have heard very polite people who very, they sound really sweet and nice, say the most horrible things in this sweet tone of voice. When I used to live in the South, people would say this phrase, they would say, bless your heart, and then they would say a totally insulting comment right after it. And it sounds like they're being sweet. Bless your heart, but, and then they would say something awful. So that's a sweet tone. At the same time, I've had coaches, like athletic coaches, tell me something very directly and it sounds blunt and harsh but you know what they're trying to do is help me improve so i try to take personality out of it now obviously i would rather someone be polite and have a supportive tone but it's really the nature of the feedback that i'm listening to as i'm hearing criticism is it meant to build me up or is it just meant to tear me down so if the feedback passes those first three checks then i think about how i'm going to outwardly respond. Now the first thing I do is I take a deep breath. Literally, I just breathe in and say, okay, let's listen to this person. Let's hear it out. Then what I do is I demonstrate that I'm receptive to listening. I listen carefully instead of defensive. If you act defensive and start justifying, then it's going to shut the conversation down in a negative way. So I ask questions. I draw them out. I listen for those details, show them that I'm tracking with them and ask follow-ups. Now, once I've heard their criticism, 
you, first of all, you thank them toward the end of the conversation. And it can be a very brief conversation. Make sure you thank them for their feedback. Then I think about, does this feedback resonate with what I was already sensing? In other words, I might know that I'm not very good at one thing or that I'm pretty good at another. And is what they're saying striking that nerve? Is it hitting home? And if it does, then I just go get to work on it. And other times, though, they'll say something that is a little surprising and that I wasn't exactly expecting. And in that case, I will go get a second opinion and I'll go ask somebody else that I do know and trust and I do value their opinion. A lot of times you'll get feedback. Like when I wrote my book, I got some feedback on it that a certain chapter was absolutely horrible. And then when I looked at the other reviewers' comments, the feedback was really good. They said, this is a great chapter. And so, you know, sometimes you have to balance out different opinions from different people. Now, ultimately, and let's back out all the way. If this criticism is helpful, then it needs to align with your priorities. And if it doesn't align with the things you really want to get better at, then you, maybe you don't really have to put much focus on it. For example, my priority is to do great work and I'm a teacher and I like writing and making videos. One of the priorities that I don't really care much about is professional networking. Now, I know that might be very important to you and I totally respect it, but I got feedback a couple of years ago. You need to be seen more. You need to go to more events. You know, you need to get out there and shake some hands. It's good politically in this institution. And I totally respect that. And it's true about me, by the way. I don't really go out and shake a lot of hands and meet people and say, hey, how you doing? Here's what I do. Uh, it's just not what I'm into. And so I heard the feedback. It was totally accurate. But then ultimately I said, well, they're right, but it just doesn't align with my priorities. In fact, if I were to list out my top 10 priorities, professional networking would not make the top 10. So does the feedback really land in a place that's important to me? Is it part of my high priorities? So I have a question for you. How do you recommend that people respond to your personal criticism? What are some of the tips and approaches that you use when listening to someone give you feedback. I'd love to hear that comment in the section below the video. I read those comments and I try to respond to every single one. So thanks, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video. Hello again. Before we go, I wanted to tell you about a totally free resource that I created. It's a mini course in professional communication skills. I will put a link to it in the description below the video, as well as on the YouTube homepage and my website. It's totally free and it covers concise communication, clear communication, listening skills, building positive relationships, and problem solving. I encourage you to check it out.